Hey guys, a certain day is coming up very soon. You know, Singles Awareness Day or that day where you order pizza by yourself in your onesie and just sit home all night watching Grease and Pretty Woman and Dirty Dancing and Mrs. Doubtfire. It's also the day after my birthday. But in all seriousness, Valentine's Day is coming up and that means that half the people in the world are out on extravagant romantic dates or not extravagant but just dates with their significant others and half of the people are having girls nights or just like forever alone nights. No matter which half of those people you are, you can still use this video to make something really cute and fun and draw inspiration for maybe some room decor if you don't have a gift to give to anyone. I'm showing you all how to make some Mason Valentines. Some of them are sweet treats and some of them are really pretty, but they are all really simple to make. Now go ahead and gather your jars and let's fill them up. First, wash and dry your mason jars. For this valentine, all I'm doing is getting some colorful conversation hearts and sorting them. Then I'm pouring equal amounts into the jar one color at a time. It's simple as that, but it turns out super cute. Valentine number two is a craft lover's dream. For this one, I purchased a bunch of different craft supplies from rhinestones to beads to pom-poms to foam stickers. To give it a Valentine's theme, I'm only using the pink reds and whites from these little packages, and I'm trying to get as many hearts and flowers in there as possible. For the third one, I'm using decorative filler stones and some fake flowers. You could also use real flowers, but the roses at the store I went to looked pretty wilty. So this is a great alternative and it will last way longer. I don't know about you guys, but for Valentine's Day, I would rather get a treat that's semi-healthy rather than a bunch of sweets and candy. I'm just that kind of girl. So I'm really proud of this idea. I actually saw a bag of Valentine's Day trail mix at Target, but I didn't exactly like all the stuff that was in it, so I decided to buy all the ingredients that I like, and I mixed them all together in a bowl and put some red and pink candies inside, and it's the perfect treat full of protein. It's an all-around great snack. I know this won't work for people with nut allergies, but you guys can just pick the foods that you like instead. Valentine number five is for the people who can't get enough of cinnamon candy. So for this one, I'm just unwrapping all the candies. Make sure your hands are washed, please. And then I'm just putting them in the jar. If you want to use hot tamales instead or any other type of cinnamon candy, then go ahead. Of course, I drew this corny tag and I attached it with some string. Number six is s'mores in a jar. Because who doesn't love a good s'more? I'm taking the milk and dark chocolate out of the bag of Hershey's Miniatures and I'm just placing those around the bottom of the jar. Then I couldn't find any heart-shaped marshmallows, but I did find the pink ones, so I'm putting pink and white. And then I am going to just carefully add some graham crackers on top. Again, it doesn't hurt to be as corny as possible. I love you s'more. Ah ha ha. Yeah, not funny. The seventh one will make great room decor and it's perfect to give to someone who's special to you. Carefully poke a couple of holes in the top of your mason jar lid. I'm just using a clay tool. And then I found this really cute butterfly at Michael's Craft Store 
and it's attached to a wire so I'm just going to wrap that wire through the holes in the lid and then it will securely attach and hang down. Put the lid on to see how you want to decorate inside if you want to decorate and then once you're happy with the way that looks put the lid on and it looks like your butterfly is captured in the jar. Also gluing decorations on top is totally optional but I think it makes it look even prettier. For the eighth and final valentine I'm showing in this video, I'm going to write on the outside of the mason jar with a sharpie paint pen. This is going to be a memory jar. I've always wanted to do this for the new year and just write all the happy things in my life. So I thought this would be a perfect addition to my Valentine's Day video. You can give this to someone who you've had a lot of really fun times with. So for this year, keep writing down all the stuff that you guys do together and just put it on cute pieces of paper and fold them up and throw them inside. Then at the end of the year, you can dump them out together and read through. If you end up making a mason jar valentine, please show me your photo on Instagram by using hashtag SoCraftastic. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. For even more Valentine's Day inspiration, check out my Valentine's Day playlist where you will see a range of DIYs varying from actual Valentine's Day cards to duct tape heart garland, fortune cookies made from felt, and a whole ton of other cute things. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and clickety-click below, and that's it. Just go watch. Now it's time to look at some pictures that were sent in by my amazing viewers of their DIY projects that were inspired by my videos, especially the rock candy polymer clay charms and popsicle brownies. Thank you guys so much for sending those photos. I really enjoy seeing what you create. Don't forget to use the hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram if you want me to see your Valentines. And show your support by clicking like and subscribing to the SoCraftastic channel. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!